Shabbat Shalom, little Hebrews, and Boker Tob. This Shabbat, we will learn, what is Babylon? Little Hebrews, do you remember the story of Nimrod? Remember, Nimrod was the great-grandson of Noah? Well, in Genesis 10, verses 8 through 11, Scripture tells us, And Cush begat Nimrod. He began to be a mighty one in the earth. He was a mighty hunter before Yah. Wherefore it is said, even as Nimrod, the mighty hunter before Yah. And the beginning of his kingdom was Babel, and Erek, and Akkad, and Kalna, in the land of Shinar. Out of that land went forth Asher and builded Nineveh and the city Rohaboth and Kala. Little Hebrews, these scriptures are telling us that Nimrod, who was the son of Cush, was once a mighty man of Yah. He was a great hunter, a very powerful man. He was the one that began the kingdom of Babel, or Babylon. Ancient Babylon was a kingdom, little Hebrews, and there were many other cities that Nimrod built also. Ancient Babylon was located in what we call Iraq today. Now Nimrod was so powerful, little Hebrews, that he killed a bull with his bare hands, but he became very wicked. Knowing that he was a powerful hunter before Yah, Nimrod wanted even more power. He even took the blood of a bull that he killed and put it all over himself. He put the bull's horns on his head and wrapped the bull's tail around his waist. Little Hebrews, Nimrod had turned himself away from Yah. The city of Babylon became an evil place. See, the people in that time all spoke one language and had started to build a tower up to the heavens. They wanted to get into the heavens where Yah is at and make a name for themselves. They wanted everyone to look at them and say how great they were. They wanted to be equal with Yah. Well, the Tower of Babylon was getting very, very tall. And in those days, all the people spoke one language. Well, let's go to scripture and read what happened. In Genesis 11, verses 1 through 9, And the whole earth was of one language and one speech. And it came to pass... As they journeyed from the east, that they found a plain in the land of Shinar. And a plain is like a flat place of land, okay? And they dwelt there. And they said one to another, Go to, let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick of stone and slime had they for mortar. Now, mortar is like if you look at a brick house, you'll see that, that um, kind of stuff in between each of the bricks. That's called mortar. And mortar um, holds the bricks together. And they said, go to, let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven. And let us make a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And Yah came down to see the city and the tower, which the children of men builded. And Yah said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language, and this they begin to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. Which means, Yah was saying that, Anything that they put their mind to do because, you know, they were all on the same accord, they'd be able to do it. So, 
verse 7 go to let us go down and there confound their language that they will not understand one another's speech and confound means uh, to make it different you know to to if if I'm speaking English someone else is speaking someone else confound where you can't understand where the, what the other one is saying so Yah scattered them abroad from thence up on the face of all the earth and they left off to build a city therefore it is therefore is the name of it called Babel because Yah did there confound the language of all the earth and from thence did Yah scatter them abroad upon the face of the earth Wow little Hebrews Yah saw that the people were, were building a huge high tower and trying to make it so big and so tall that it would reach all the way into heaven where he was at so Yah changed their language right while they were building that tower and that made it impossible for them to talk to each other and finish getting the tower built Yah also scattered them all over the face of the earth and they stopped building the tower little Hebrews the people in ancient Babylon were working in unity or working in one accord but they were not working in one accord following the laws and commandments of Yah they were working to be free from Yah and to make themselves equal with Yah little Hebrews now that is the part the end of part one of what is Babylon and now we will ask you some questions